back in the garage. So today, uh, I'm going to be adjusting my handlebars a little too far forward. We're bringing back like half an inch. Um, because I have a tree glide though, it's going to be a pre-involved process. Got to take off the windshield, the fairing, um, move the inner fairing, take off the um, little like the lock. I mean like the ignition lock and stuff like that. Um, sorry, you have to take off a whole bunch of stuff. So. Uh, before we get into that though, uh, what we're going to do is I'm going to go over kind of like some of the common ones you're going to need, tools you're going to need. So a half inch and then a T27. Uh, T27 will take off the windshield and the fairing and then the half inch will take off the lights, uh, which you need to do to get down to the, uh, the inner fairing stuff. And then you're also going to need a uh, 530 second Allen key. Uh, this will uh, allow you to get in and take off the... Uh, Uh, the inner cover right underneath the lock. Can't remember the real name of it, um, but yeah. So that's pretty much all it's gonna be. Um, yeah, I'm gonna time lapse uh, a lot of this, um, just because like it's really not that hard. There's plenty of videos on how to do it. Um, but step one, what I'm gonna do uh, is I'm gonna take off the windshield. Uh, step two is I'm gonna take off the outer fairing and unplug the headlight. Um, step three is going to be uh, taking off the blinkers and uh, removing the little dash, not the dash, I forget what it is, right at the lock, I can't remember the term for it. Take that off. I'm going to try not to take the lock off, uh, the ignition off, uh, just because it's a pain and a pain to get back on. Um, but yeah, so that's going to be the first couple steps. Um, and then I'll come back to you once uh, I do those steps and then we'll do, you know, the future ones or whatever, uh, the next ones. Uh, to get to it, but uh, I'll show you what I look like on the bike so you can see kind of why I'm adjusting it and why it's a little too far forward. Um, it works fine with the stock seat, but when I got my new seat wall back, it was a little bit kind of too far forward. So let me show you. So I'm sitting on the bike here. Uh, I got a center stand up right now and a towel to cover the tank. Uh, so a towel on the tank and a towel on the front fender uh, to kind of save you from dinging anything. Uh, but so sitting back now in my Saddleman San Diego custom seat, which I do like a lot. Uh, I took it all the way to the back, it was fantastic. Um, but when I put my arms out now, there's not that quite bend in the elbow that, you know, like I really like to have. Uh, some people will think it's fine and to each its own. Uh, me, uh, where the handlebars are currently, if I scoot up like a half an inch, now I got that like bend that I like to have. Uh, in my elbow. I like to have this bend, that way if anything happens, I can sit up straight on the bike and put downward pressure to control the handlebar. So if I scoot back in it like this and I bring my hands off like half an inch, I get that, um, that bend. So I'm going to try and bring my handlebars back half an inch, three quarters of an inch, just kind of rotate them back a little bit towards me uh, instead of them being so far up on the uh, on the fairing. So I'll show you what it looks like from the side view so you can see what I'm talking about, about how it's like literally right up on the fairing, um, kind of about an inch and a quarter from touching the fairing, so I'll show you that. It's like right up there on the fairing, and it, it kind of like swoops up and comes right up like this, and it kind of sits right up on flat, I'm going to pull it back just a little bit, like I said, that half inch, and that will really uh, kind of like give me that, that little pull back just a little bit to make it comfortable for the seat that I have. Yeah, with that being said, we're going to start taking stuff apart.
Alright, just like that, take this off. Uh, you'll need a 9 16 to take off these two bolts right here. This pops off, you just pull it gently on the outside, it'll slide right off. Um, and then that will expose um, this plastic piece here that gets taken off with the top bolt there. Uh, the same uh, thing like this, just unscrew it and it pops off as well. And that will expose the metal for the interfering. So now that I loosened all these pieces up, I kind of just pulled the. Here, I'll show you. Now it's hard to see, but this is the ignition lock right here. I kind of just pulled this piece up and back. Uh, I just needed to be kind of clear so that we can get to these bolts. And now that I've done that, we're just going to come over the fairing, uh, inner fairing, sorry. And you're going to grab, not this plastic piece, but this metal piece, and kind of just pull it out, lift up slightly, and rock it back towards you. Just like that. So it pulls it back like that. And then that opens up your handlebars. Sorry, so that. that opens up your handlebars just like that. And so now you can easily access them right there. Um, not super hard, it's just kind of an involved process. So now we're going to go about, adjust, uh, I'm going to loosen these up just slightly to break the torque. And then uh, I'm going to adjust them where I need them to be at on the bike. Um, and then we will be able to, uh, I'll be able to tighten them back down, pull each one out, put more Loctite on it, and all that kind of stuff. I'm going to go over the torque specs with you when I do that. Uh, but I'm going to adjust it from the now. Alright, so before I get into it, you're going to need a 1 4th Allen key uh, bit to do this. So, I wanted to mention that before I got started so you knew. Alright, now we're getting into it. So now that I got it where I need to be, I tighten it down. Um, and I looked it up online, it says 12 to 15 foot pounds for the top clamp. Let me see if I can find it in here. Yeah, I don't have it in my manual. So 12 to 15 foot pounds. Let's go to converter. So 144 inch pounds. I don't have a torque wrench that goes that low, so I'm going to use for foot pounds, so I'm going to use inch pounds. So 144 inch pounds, I'm going to remove each bolt individually so that way the handlebars don't move. And then I'm going to put Loctite on them, put them back in by hand, and then torque each one down. Once we're good, then we'll just reverse the process, put it back together.
so now that I got everything back together, uh, basically it's reverse order of what I took apart in. Uh, I'm going to adjust my hand grips. So because I've rotated them back, I need to or pull the handlebars back. So now you can see, sit the same way. Got more of the bend in my elbow. I'm not like this anymore. Now I'm more forward. A little bit easier for me to uh, to manipulate them. Um, like I said, because of the seat. So I'm going to take my hand grips. I'm going to loosen up these two uh, screws on each side. Take a T27 just like the fairing did. I'm going to rotate them up a little bit. That way uh, I can use my hand controls with my thumbs like uh, I did before. All right, and just like that, um, I haven't adjusted. I can really only adjust this side uh, because this side I grill glued it in, and I don't feel like I'm sticking it. Uh, it's a little off, but like it's not. It doesn't really bother me because I can still hit the home button here. Um, I can still hit my cruise control or anything like that. Um, so yeah, it doesn't really bother me all that much. I did rotate the uh, brake lever down a little bit just so that it's more in line with. Um, the, sorry, the clutch lever down a little bit, so it's more like the brake lever. Um, but yeah, other than that, that's pretty much it. Uh, kind of a quick, you know, I had to adjust my handlebars. I got a new seat. Originally, like I said, it was with the stock seat, so now it's with this one. I think it looks a little better too from the side because uh, the upper part here is more in line with the forks instead of in line with the bearing. So, uh, but with that being said, uh, please like, comment, subscribe, and uh, I'll see y'all in the next one.